and welcome to video number three. In this specific video, you're going to learn how to map out your sales funnel. This part of this whole video course is very important because you need to know how your sales funnel looks like so that you can connect everything together. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to talk about are upsells and one-time offers. For some of you, you don't know what upsells and downsells are. So let me make sure that you understand what it is and how powerful it can be if you add them to your sales funnel. Upsells and one-time offers are the same thing, just different names. They are basically whenever somebody offers you a product and let's say, for example, you go to McDonald's. McDonald's is a great example of this. You go there, you ask for a combination and they say, would you like fries with that? Would you like to upgrade from a, a small to a medium, medium to large and so forth? That's what we call a one time offer. But in this case, the one-time offer is offered after the person purchases. So the reason why one-time offers are very, very powerful is because customers are in a buying mode. So they just purchased your front end product and you provide them with a one-time offer that is related to the front end product. So upsells and one-time offers, they are easier to sell once the customers are in buying mode. So like I said earlier, it must be related and helpful to the front end offer. For example, if you sell a product on the front end on, let's say for example, a video training course on graphic design, then the upsell needs to be something related to either saving time or money, speeding the process up for graphic design you cannot include a one-time offer that is something totally different. Otherwise, you're gonna kill your conversions. You can, but it's not gonna be as effective. So make sure that either the one-time offer relates to the front end offer, but also relates to saving time or money. If you can do that, that's a formula for success. Let me talk about down sales. Let's say for example that you go to Arby's or you go to McDonald's and you order a cheeseburger, fries, and a Coke. And then they say, would you like a large with that? And you say no. And you, they say, okay, well, would you like a medium Coke? So if you started out with a small Coke and they went from a large and then you said no, and you, then they said medium, which was half the price, but half the size of a large, then of course you're thinking, well, you know, it's, I don't want to break my wallet, but at the same time, it's a good deal. So down sales are basically part of the upsell. So usually half or a piece of the upsell. So a down sell is basically half or something lower than the upsell. So in this case, if I offer a one-time offer of a graphic design software for the upsell, but the downsell, I could offer that software, but maybe it doesn't have as many features and so forth. So it's not like you're offering the upsell for a lower price. That would not be good for your customers. It's just a downsell is usually a piece of the upsell for a lower price. And it usually contains the main selling point of the upsell. But it's a great appeal to customers who want it, but their wallets are low on cash. So you got a $50 upsell and then a $25 downsell. Imagine people getting the downsells and not missing out on your upsell, but getting your downsells. You're, if you don't have that downsell there and you have that upsell, then you're actually losing money in the process. So you want to make sure you have a downsell if you have an upsell. Now that you understand these two items, which are very important if you do choose this route, now I want to talk about basic sales funnels. Normally your sales funnel is going to look like this. You're going to have your main sales page. 
and then somebody clicks on the JVZoo buy button, which this arrow shows that they're in the process of ordering, they order, and then they're directly sent to your thank you page. That's a basic sales funnel. And majority of you will probably have this sales funnel. And, and because of that, I will be following a basic sales funnel in terms of the setup process for JVZoo. Now, if you choose to do a one-time offer and a down sell, then it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have the main sales page. Somebody's click on the JVZoo buy button. They're gonna purchase and then they're going to see the one-time offer. They're not gonna be sent to the thank you page just yet. Now, this is a little more complicated because you have a one-time offer. So the main sales page is up here. They purchase, they see this one-time offer. If they click no, then they're gonna be presented with a down sell here. Now, if they click on yes, then you have to direct them to a thank you page. So you're gonna to need to have three different thank you pages. So main sales page, one-time offer, thank you page with the one-time offer. If they say no and then they purchase the down sell, then they are gonna be sent to a thank you page with the down sell. You don't wanna forward them to a thank you page with the OTO unless they paid for that. Now if they click on no to the down sell, then they're gonna be forwarded to the thank you page with no one-time offer or down sell. So it's just gonna be the basic funnel from main sales page to the thank you page. So feel free to pause this at any time just to study this if you need to do this. And I'm not gonna actually follow this in the process, but in video number eight, I'm gonna show you how to use JVZoo's sales funnel feature and with their feature, you can actually implement this whole process actually fairly easily. So with that said, let's move on to the next video. And I'm going to show you how to finalize the sales page and the thank you page and to connect all your content to your thank you page. <music>